drink some beer! 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 Hi guys, it's Dave from What's Brewing Nuke here. Uh, going to be doing a brewing video today, this time of the Dark Velvet Stout by Wilkinson's. And we're going to be doing a little bit different by making like a hop tea. First time we've done a hop tea, so let's have a look what we're going to be using. Right, so the first thing we're going to be using is our Dark Velvet Stout. Hold on, get that in camera. It's a 40 pint kit. Apparently it's got an EBV of around 4%. Uh, it's just a single tin kit and uh, what we're going to do rather than just add a kilo of sugar we're going to be adding some dark malt there you go I'll move that back a little bit there we go um, Spear malt just to give it a bit of um, body. Uh, all the single kits I've done, uh, really, I've I've always used a, a malt, a spear malt, and then uh, added the brewing sugar. So uh, I'm not going to stray from that because it's a good combination. It's always worked, and the bees turned out well. Um, however, what I am going to do different is I want to be adding these which is some better brew finishing hops and these ones are Willamette now it's the first time I've used these I thought when I first uh, when I got these I thought they were just uh, like hop pellets so I went out and I bought some muslin bags but I found out that I don't need these because these are actually in a like a little tea bag and what you do with these I was going to do like a boil like on Craig Tube so I was going to do like a 10 minute boil with the the, um, the pellets in the uh, the muslin bag but because these are in a tea bag all, you, all these say they do on them instructions which I can't focus on but it basically says that you you put one of these in a cup of boiling water leave it for 10 minutes and then add it to the brew not just the uh, the hop tea but the actual tea bag as well and it stays in the fermenting vessel while the beer is brewing so we're going to give that a go it's the first time I've done that so We'll check them out, and I'm undecided on whether to use some brewing sugar, um, something like 700, and normally I put 500 in, and the beer hasn't really been that strong, so I was thinking about um, up and either using the brewing sugar at maybe 700 grams, and uh, adding that to the brew or using household sugar which everything I've used with household sugar although everybody says it gives you off flavours everything I've done with household sugar has been really really strong so I don't know what to use I think I might use this we'll go with the brewing sugar 700 grams so that's the uh, so that will be the uh, the Wilkinson's Dark Velvet Stout, 500 grams of dark spear malt, 700 grams of brewing sugar, and the Willamette hops in a hop tea bag type of uh, arrangement. So let's go. Let's open this bag and see what's in. Okay, so there it is, the Velvet Stout, if you uh, open this up, see if I can put you down, you 
get the, uh, the little touch of the yeast. Um, I can see on there how much yeast, but that's what we're going to be using. You could uh, use your own yeast, you know, what you buy in the, the brew shops, but we're just going to go for this for now just to see what's like. And obviously, you get the little instruction leaflet, which uh, as you can see, you can follow up if you've never done it before. But, uh, I don't think we'll be needing that since we're seasoned professionals. So let's get on with the brew. Alright, so I'm going to carefully open these finishing hops. We're going to leave these to steep in a cup for about 10 minutes. So we'll carefully open this packet, which I will do now. Inside of here is our little tea bag of Willamette hops. So, there we go. Okay, the pellets in there, I don't know if you can see them on the camera. But, uh, oh my goodness, they smell nice. So, into the cup there, go. Obviously, see no more. So I'm gonna put the tea bag in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fold it up a little bit. There we are. Just boil the kettle one more time. Just make sure it's boiling water going in there. I'll do is I'll get a spoon. Doesn't have to be sanitized because it's boiling water. Uh, we're just going to push that to the bottom. And we're going to leave that for 10 minutes as per instructions. So uh, let's get on with the rest of the brew while that's brewing. Right, next up, we've got a pan of boiling water. Uh, amount not really important, but we're going to add the the dark milk to it. So here we go. That's in. We're going to give it a a stir. With a spoon. I'm going to let that heat up and uh, a couple of minutes, and then when all the lumps is out, we can then add that to the fermenter and over the wort. So let's get opening our tin of wort. Right, we're going to add the, the wort to the fermenting barrel or vessel, like so. Very thick. It's like black treacle. It smells absolutely amazing. Tin with some water from the kettle, which I've just boiled. There we go. There we go. Just stir. Make sure we get all the, the bits from around the side. Oops. So, 
so. Dann put it back on. And I'll get a tea towel. Because that tea is going to be hot. I'm going to pour it over the lid so it gets the uh, the malt from the uh, the top of the inside of the lid as well. I didn't say that, but clean it in. And we're going to give that a stir. And we'll also add the Spear mold. Let's have a spear mold added as well. And Quick stir, and we're also going to add our 700 grams of brown sugar, which I measured out on some scales. So we'll tip that in as well. Whoosh. And we'll stir it some more. Right, I'm going to stir this for a good 10 minutes, so I'll see you in a bit. Right, we're going to add some cold water now. That's been stirred for about 10 minutes. And uh, this one I'm truly mixed in. So we're going to add the, some cold water now to bring it up to um, Actually, says um, on the tin, <coughs> and most of the the brews that I do, I don't know if you can see that. Always not. Um, but it's going to make 23 liters. But I'm going to make 22. Should I make 23 or 22? I think we'll go for uh, 22. Make it a little bit stronger. And then we'll see what it's like. So, 22 litres it is. Right. So, we'll put some more water in. And we'll change it so you can see the level. Right. Top of number two. Right over that. Oh, look at that. 22. Jobs are good. Right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add our hot tea that we've had soaking for 10 minutes. And this has got to go in here with the tea bag so but uh, not that hot hoppy smelly like but we'll give it a go here we go sploosh the temperature is 24 degrees which is uh, ideal I'll show you gravity I'll this one for thingy in, but not 
orange, the bottom of that orange is 40. So it's about 140, 1041, 1042. We'll see a 1042. So that's what the ground is. So the tea bag's in, sugar's in, water's in, everything's in. Well, we need now for the yeast. So let's get the yeast done. Right, so we're going to give it a one more stir just to agitate some of these foam on the top. See the tea bag in there. Perhaps we'll see if we can uh, turn it. Oh, John. Right, so we'll give it a bit of, bit of stirrage. So here's the pack of yeast. Uh, never used this yeast before. Turned a bit of a gamble, but here we go. This is what you guys would do anyway. So I'm just doing what a beginner would do. If they bought one of these kits. Now you can either put it all in, and you can either leave it as it is with the yeast on the top, or you mix it in. Now. I've never had any bad brews with mixing it in, so that's what I want to do, but you know, if you want to uh, listen to what people see on forums or watch videos where people just leave it on the top, it really is um, you know, something that you've, you can either mix it in or you don't. And I'm just, just gently dabbing it in, I'm not being too uh, hard with it. Some people make a yeast starter, but um, I'm just doing it this way. This is the way I've always done it, so uh, you can do it your your own way. And there we go. That's it all done. And so all we need to do now is put another. Our lid on. Everything, by the way, has been sterilised, including the bucket, uh, all the implements, the uh, lid, uh, the little grommet, bubbly bubbly pipe, the airlock, and the uh, lid, everything. So it's all nice and uh, sterilised. I cannot um, emphasise enough how important sterilising stuff is because at the end of the day, you've paid money for you know whatever you're brewing and uh, obviously all the uh, time and effort and you've got to wait well I'll be waiting uh, at least just over a month to drink this so I want to make sure that all that uh, time and effort you can go to waste otherwise it'd be a bit pointless what do you think so there's a hubbly bubbly pipe our airlock goes in there and that's going to be in the fermenting vessel for 10 days I'll leave them for 10 days and then once I bottle them they'll be in the bottle for four weeks and then we'll do a taste test so that was the dark velvet stout by Wilgos and uh, I'll see you in about 24 hours when hopefully this bad boy is going to be bubbling so okay, guys, so we've got the Wilgo's Dark Velvet Stout, which we did with the Willamette Hops. I don't know if you can see, but there's the Krausen layer, which is very nice. Bubbling like a bad boy.